hello everyone we will start our session last session for communication now and whoever has prepared their elevator pitch you can start coming forward introduce yourself and start speaking okay so whoever wants to come first please come first <laughs> Just a minute. Good afternoon. Good morning. So, okay, you can say good afternoon. It's according to your time, right? And there is a little bit black background noise, so you can come near the microphone so that I can hear you properly. <laughs> I'm about to speak about Nigeria opportunities in Nigeria. Firstly, Nigeria offers educational opportunities in Nigeria. Firstly, what is the education? Education can be defined as a way of learning new things and acquire more skills. What is and what is the educational opportunity in Nigeria? Nowadays, educational opportunities in Nigeria is very accessible because people do believe that education is about to be why? Because people do not have enough money to send their children. Because in Nigeria now, money is very, very hard to see because people are struggling. They do believe that without money, there is no education. Educational opportunities in Nigeria. And the quality people to promote long lasting inclusive economy in Nigeria. And in Nigeria, the importance of education is very, very important because without being educated, uh, getting jobs or anything is very hard because without education, people are not really, really good in everything. But um, in Nigeria, in Nigeria, we don't have so many people in Nigeria because people do go to um foreign countries for more education, like masters, and um, it is because in Nigeria there's no, there is not um an assurance that if the he or he or or she has um, education, they're not sure that the person is going to see a job because job opportunities in Nigeria is very small and people do, people do go to farming for education so that they will find a good job to end their money. Education is by few points of mind. Education is the most powerful weapon we can use to Change the word. Thank you. Olufi, your video disappeared. Are you still there? Yes, we are. I'm trying to. I'm currently logged in on my phone. So I'm trying to switch to the laptop. I had to use the phone because the laptop was taking a while to come up. Okay, so and uh, can you please, whoever is coming, can you please type their names in the chat box? Like, All right. can you please type her name also in the chat box? Okay. Okay. Here we go. So, can you please type her name in the chat box?
Okay, so I think it's good you turn audio on your cell phone, right? So it means that whoever is coming first, or you are going to have video also on your cell phone. So I think the per I can hear at least the person more clearly. Uh, okay, so now what's going on there? Okay. So can you speak? I would like to check the audio. I cannot hear you. I cannot hear you. What about now? Now I can hear you. Okay. okay. So uh, uh, you want to, uh, can you speak now? I, ca I would like to see how I am hearing you. Can you hear me, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yeah, I think you, can you start now? Your speech was really good. So can you please start again? I'm about to talk about educational opportunities in Nigeria. What is educational opportunity? Educational opportunity, education can be defined as the way of learning new things and acquiring more skills. Educational opportunities in Nigeria are not very accessible in Nigeria because people do believe that education is money. Why? Because in Nigeria, people are struggling to eat the place of sending a child to school. So people do believe that money is education. And educational opportunities in Nigeria are very slim, as I said before that. Because people people do not believe in education because when after finishing their education, to get job is is a problem because there are not there are not a job there are not many um, employment opportunities in Nigeria. So people do go to foreign country to to um, to be educated. After educating each um after educating the the five job in foreign so that they could earn money and live in a comfortable life. Equality education opportunities can help to promote long-lasting inclusive economic growth and social coercion. Because um, in Nigeria, to get um, economic growth is very, is very bad and development. We, just, we are just developing, we are not growing in any way because in Nigeria, in Nigeria, we are Nigeria. We don't have so many employment. People are struggling to live. There are so many problems in Nigeria for educational opportunities. Because of in Nigeria, people, people do not want to work in Nigeria because it's very, 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 very bad because um, there's no um, job. Able to find job is even difficult. So people go to foreign country to find job and live in a comfortable place and work in a comfortable place. With my few part of mind, I think I've been able to talk about education opportunity in Nigeria. And education is the most powerful weapon to 
will do it so God used to change the life. Thank you. Okay, thanks. It was wonderful. So your name is Ayomite, right? Ayomite or Ayomite? Ayomite. 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 It was really good. So who is the second one? Next one. Okay, Olufmi, you can type her name also in the chat. Good morning, ma. Good morning, and you can start now. My name is Jose Orishara. I'm here to talk about education opportunity in Nigeria. Education opportunity in Nigeria. Ed education opportunities are as a education opportunity at this opportunity that aims to enable that uh, that 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 aims to enable individuals to acquire knowledge and central skin to uh, uh, to uh, to cultivate mental capacity in Nigeria requires access to education for all citizens of their country of primary and secondary level rated by the Nigeria police level uh, Nigeria police on education. A policy on education. Education opportunity uh, of uh, opportunity. The education opportunities are uh, uh, that uh, that should be financed and controlled by the state. Importance of education opportunity in Nigeria. It provides a stability. Education provides a, a, a stability in life, and it's something that no, uh, no one can ever take away from you. It's fundamental to human and natural development. Right, well, thank you. Okay, thank you, Jose, right? Yes. Jose, thank you. It was nice. Who is the next one? Good morning. Good morning. So you can start. My name is Adi. My name is Adi. I'm here to present a speech about education opportunity. Education opportunity provides stability in life. And it's something that no one can ever take away from you. By being well educated and holding a college degree, you increase your change for better career. Opportunity opened up for yourself. In Nigeria, you got access to education in Nigeria for all citizens of the country as primary secondary and tertiary. Tertiary level is granted by a national policy on education in equal equalism. Education opportunity plateau outlined that education should be should be financed and controlled by the state. With the state. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Tammy Tope, right? Tammy Tope, nice name. Okay, thank you. And uh, who is the next one? She's going next. Okay, good morning. Young person. My name is Ajay Kusama. My education opportunities in Nigeria is very clear. To find a good job without education is very bad. They cannot accept anybody. 
Education provides knowledge and value to somebody. somebody. And education is the best legacy to everybody. Education opportunities in Nigeria is very bad. Government does not provide education for us, <clears throat> and they are struggling to give and um, to give ourselves a good education. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Samuel. That was very nice. How old are you? How old are you, Samuel? How old are you? Twelve. Twelve? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning. My name is Joy. I'm going to present this picture. First of all, I would like to present this speech. I would like to define education as an right. Because some people do think that education is just a privilege. But I would like to put them on that education is not just a Education is also an right. The right to education is like legally guaranteed to everyone. And education is education is the best legacy for everyone because if you are educated, you will have value. And those who are not educated, those who are not educated. They know about it because during the process of during the process of education, you will meet so many friends. So you meet so many people that so many people that can help you in life. Like, like for example, if you go to buy a social, you meet so many people from other states, other countries. That so you learn more about life. So not just but if you not go to any school, you just you don't know anything, but some, sometimes you meet some friends that they, they counsel you on, on, on how to do and on how to do so many things. But for those, those, that, those that are not educated, they will not have the opportunity to be counseled. And, and again, I would like, and uh, some people do think education is. Is money, but in Nigeria, for example, our, go our government has has given us um the opportunity to be educated because there are so there are, there are public schools that can go that don't need no need to pay any money that is free. So our government has assured us every student must be educated. So it has given us so many opportunities. And every every child has the right to be educated. And I think with this few points of mine, I'd like to I would like to I would like the government to to improve our educational opportunities. I would I would like them to make Nigeria a better country so that um people from other countries it comes out to Nigeria for further education. Okay, thanks, Joy. Thank you. And who is the next one? That's all. She's the last person. That was the last person. So, yes. all of you did a very good job. Please come near to the camera so that I can talk to all of you. We have our first speaker, Ayumi Day. 
then we have Jose, then we have Kami Tope, and then we have a very young speaker, Joy, right? uh, Samuel, sorry. Okay. So I think the best job that who did it that was in very convincing way was Ayomide. And you guys can clap for her. Ayomide, can you please come in front of the camera? She's already there, right? I can see Ayomide, right? No, yeah, I am in a So, yes, I am today. I would like to take a screenshot of you because yours was the best one. So, let me take you. So, you are you stood first in this competition. Okay, I'm going to take your screenshot. And if you want to say hello or anything, so any hello. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. So let me have this picture first before we go further. Okay. We have a nice one. We would like to have one more Ayomide. Hello, you have to say. Hello. Okay, just keep in the, that pose. I'm taking picture, not making a video. In a hello pose. And just stay there. Okay, one, two, three. Done. And let me put it. Okay, I think that was much better picture. And who else was better, like good, was Joy. Joy was also good. And uh, so Joy, I can see you. Can you also let me say first mine and Ayomide picture? Then, okay. So let's go to. So, Joy, I know. So, can you also say hello? I will take a picture of you. Hello. Uh, look in the camera. Done. Okay. So this was with Joy. Our next is uh, the very young guy, Samuel. Yeah. <laughs> I think you are the youngest, Samuel, right? I mean, it is just a consolation thing. Okay. Because you are laughing so much. So, okay. Uh, let's have this same way, just wave and stay there, okay, taken, okay, and I, now I would say that the rest of you were also good, like uh, who else was there? Tammy Tupe, Bose, you guys were also good. Can you all guys now come into the frame so we can take one good picture? All of you come into the frame, yeah. Uh, Ayomi Day, can you please come on the other side of Samuel, not this side, because you are covering uh, the other pizza. So can, come to the other side because there is a space with Samuel. So you can come to the other side. And then we are going to take our last picture. You guys can say whatever you want to say and stay in that pose because I'm taking picture, okay? So what you, whatever you want to say, smile or whatever. So I'm going to take one, two, three, go. Okay. Let me see before you move. Okay. I think it is a wonderful picture. We have uh, four. Okay. So how you guys are feeling now? Good about it or what? I think about it. It was Thank good. That's, that's, that's very nice. So I think we are meeting again in 
I think March. And then yes. we will continue from there, okay? Yes. So for March, we're doing presentation skills, PowerPoint, Microsoft PowerPoint. Yes, we can start the soft skills. So uh, Uluvimi, we can have a meeting and we can write down what curriculum we, will, we are going to have, okay? I'm not sure now is a good time. So I have CVBF any time from now. So I would get in touch with you. Uh, yeah, just in get in touch with me or send me the curriculum. So we can discuss even through emails, okay? All right. Okay, Thank all you of you. Much. I wish you all a very good and wonderful day. Thank I will be in touch with you soon, okay? Take care, all okay. of you. Bye. 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 The special bye. I can see it. <laughs> okay, guys, take care of yourself. Okay. All right. Have a great day. You too. Thank you.